Audio interfaces are a mandatory element in all recording setups. Most of them do the same things – amplify inputs, convert analog signals to digital and the other way around. But Pack2 Mic Lia from Yellowtech is entirely different, with features that can easily improve any microphone quality with no post-processing. All that and some more for 769 euro. Everything is made of silver metal, likely aluminum. I couldn't find a single plastic part besides the connector housings, and even they are mostly high quality Nutrik ones. It's made in Germany after all, what did you expect? Two rubber elements, one on the front and one on the back, are making for a very good looking feed that prevent the device from sliding on a desk. The unit gets a little warm after some time but its case can dissipate it with no problems and it doesn't get overly hot. Please leave a like on the video. They are all located on the front and the back. Let's start with the front ones. There are two combo jacks that can take 3-pin XLR or a quartering jack for microphones. Next to it there is a headphone output for direct, latency-free monitoring purposes. And finally a volume knob that also serves as an output switch between line outs and studio headphones. Quite clever. Moving to the back, there is even more. Starting from the professional digital AES input and output. ZLM jack routes the input signal directly to the output. There is also a 3.5mm aux output. It can be used to drive a pair of headphones but with no volume control. Finally, USB can be used to connect it to any computer and there is a DC power barrel, which in this case is required for the interface to work. This audio interface delivers the highest available audio standards. The sample rate comes at 192kHz at 24-bit. That's very very good, and it also means that you have pretty much all audio formats available to you at all times. Additionally, it points you in a direction that the digital-to-analog conversion inside is being done by capable chips. And they indeed measure very well, with a dynamic range of 114 decibels. It's likely not going to be a limiting factor in any professional, or even more yet, home studio setups. Unlike Yellowtech's lower-end models, this one has automatic input selection with AES detection. You can use it with dynamic or condenser microphones, as it provides 48 volt phantom power, which they need to work. The mic input's distortion is specified to be 0.05%, a respectable value. For digital conversion, the THD plus N reaches minus 103 decibels, and for analog conversion, it's even better at minus 107 decibels. All these numbers are technically just numbers. What's special about this product is something entirely different. Subscribe to my channel and let's get to it. It's plug and play which allows for fast handling by both experienced and beginner users. You can stream two channels of XLR via USB. It has zero latency for your mic signal and zero latency monitoring of that signal, which makes recording vocals much easier and when you're recording a voiceover you won't get confused by the delays. They developed the ASIO driver for advanced operations, bit perfect scenarios, and exclusive device use. But the most important is the LIA technology. It's all about it. That's why you're getting this specific audio interface. LIA stands for Level Energy Arbitration, and it's a function that's made to keep you from bad leveling in real time. It doesn't require any plugins, setup, or software. But if you decide to download the application, you can tweak its settings. I tried changing some options, however eventually I ended up going back to the default settings, as they are very good and in most cases shouldn't be messed with. It's not just a compressor, not even close, instead it combines analog and digital techniques to achieve the best possible results. The goal is to even out the average sound pressure level, yet not increase the noise floor during quiet parts, but also not introduce any artifacts typical to noise gates. Also, it greatly prevents clipping. It's almost impossible to overdrive it in normal conditions. Despite being just 24-bit compared to 32-bit float. You might have noticed that there is no gain knob. Their technology is so good, they don't even feel like there is a need for you to spend any of your time doing it manually. 
The entire video has been recorded using my usual microphone and this audio interface. The recording itself is of a very high quality, using maximum bitrate, 24-bit and 48 kHz, so YouTube's compression is as tiny as possible. The preamps are aiming to be fairly transparent, so their goal is to not influence the sound a lot. Yet they have a slightly warm tint in my personal opinion, compared to more analytical sounding interfaces. What's exceptional about it is the consistency. It always sounds good and always sounds the same. There is no audible distortion or unpleasant artifacts. The speech clarity is enhanced a little bit, which is ideal for voiceover, podcasting and live streaming applications. The interface contributes almost no background noise. This allows the microphone's true character to shine through more than usual. It generally sounds much better on voices than instruments, but I'm pretty sure it is precisely what it's designed to do. Its LIA technology ensures it's going to sound as good no matter if the end user is an experienced audio engineer or just a beginner hobbyist who wants to experiment with vocal recording. While it might not be the ultimate choice for every scenario, it excels in its target market. And I can't think of a better interface for this specific task.